Hey there! Today I'll show you how to create this cool and vibrant neon effect in Adobe Illustrator. First, let's start by creating a rectangle in a new document. I'll change its color to black. This will be our background. Now, using the Type tool, I'll select white color and increase the font size. I'll write Neon. Let's change the font. For this example, I'll use my Jewel font, which you can purchase via the link in the description box. I think this font size should work well. Next, I'll go to the Edit tab, copy the font, and then again in the Edit tab, select Paste in Place. Remember the shortcut Shift plus Command plus V, we'll need it again. Moving on to the Effect tab, Blur, and choosing Gaussian Blur. I'll set a small radius, say 1 pixel. Back to the Edit tab, I'll copy the font again, and then once more in the Edit tab, Select Paste in Place or Shortcut Shift plus Command plus V. In the Properties tab, I'll click Gaussian Blur and change the radius value to 5 pixels. I'll copy and paste the text again. Click Gaussian Blur and change the radius value to 10. Repeat this process several times, achieving the desired neon effect. The final radius value will be 160 pixels. Here, as we push the blur effect further, it encounters constraints that become visible in the design, impacting its smoothness and overall appearance. To avoid this, I'll select all text layers, go to Effect, Document Raster Effects Settings. In the dialog box, you can increase the resolution to a higher PPI. But most importantly, increase the around object parameter. For instance, change it to 360 points or 720 points, depending on the resolution value. Now, I'll slightly adjust the size of the selected layers for the around object parameter to apply to the Gaussian blur effect. Great! I'll create a new rectangle using the Rectangle tool. I'll apply a gradient to it, changing the colors to brighter tones. Going to the Transparency tab, I'll set the Blending Mode to Overlay. The neon effect is ready. By the way, this effect can be applied not only to text objects, but also to illustrations. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon.